Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of the Pepper Collector playlist videos. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the uh, freak sort of accidental pepper that I'm growing here, now named the St. Thomas's Bane. Alright, let's take a look at how these guys are growing and then we'll take a look at the, uh, the dangerous part of this which is, how do they taste? So far, these peppers are um, pretty much growing the same, with the one variation being that most of the plants grew the peppers pointed up, while this one grew them pointed down. Otherwise, they seem to be completely the same shape and or sun tolerance and just about everything else. These guys do wilt pretty fast in the sun, but as long as they're kept mildly moist, they, uh, they come back pretty quick. They do start off as this black purple that I enjoy so much on a, rather a lot of the fruits in this yard this year seems to be the year of the purple food but as you can clearly see they turn an amazing bright red from what I can see with these guys so far a three gallon bucket does seem to be about adequate they get nice and bushy fairly productive I'll show you the ones in the gnome garden that have had a little bit more root room and uh, you can judge for yourself but I'm gonna say these are a three gallon variety over here in the corner this is all a single plant and it, it's fairly bushy, maybe a little bit more around than the others, but only about six inches or so, not really worth it. Got a nice grasshopper hiding in there. Not exactly blending in. And then beside it here, this just kind of flopped over and has taken up more space that way. But it does look like it would be a good ground cover pepper, as has been pointed out before. Alright, the neighbor's going nuts with the yard equipment, so I am going to harvest these up off camera, take the plate inside, and we'll give them a taste test. So here you can see the harvest from those plants. It's a beautiful pile of hot peppers right there, I tell you what. Alright, and I'll just get this set up, and then Shox is going to join me for the tasting. Brave girl she is. Alright. All right, so Shox has joined me. We're in the pepper testing facility with the St. Thomas's Bane. Let's get a nice look at that pepper. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now this is a hot pepper, but uh, I haven't yet given it a rating, so let's take care of that. Pick your poison, pick your pepper. Oh my, okay. St. Thomas's Bane. Here we go, cheers. You know, that's a hot pepper. That's, that's hot an pepper. instant hot pepper. Alright. Oh, it's gonna make me sneeze. Uh oh. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, I'm good on that one. I'm not swallowing it. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's oh, when you, you swallow the it, it's when it gets worse. That's, um. It's a tongue burner. Well, it passes, but. That's a seven. I'd give that a seven. I'd kick a jalapeno's backside beat down those lemon yellows too. All right, it's got a long persistent burn, a very instant burn. Quite a productive pepper as you, oh, hiccups, the hiccups have started, oh no. Oh no. Oh, excuse me. All right, so yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a pretty, like, hot pepper that instantly takes one to the hic hiccups and would make a great sauce. I do not recommend trying this on camera. Oh my. Alright. Thank you for joining me for this incredibly painful experience. It's a beautiful pepper. Oh. Long term burn. I'm going to bump that up to an 8. My tongue is still, still nicely burning. oiled and, and uh, feeling a little uh, numb. Yep, yep. Just. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Can I hold that for you? No. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm crying. I'm dying. I'm done. That's a very, very hot pepper. Definitely an eight. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining me, guys. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs>